Okay, how do we break a vector into components? Suppose you have a block being pulled up an incline, right? There's a rope at an angle to the incline. You've got a normal force sticking straight out, gravity pointing straight down, friction pointing straight downhill. Say this is 35 degrees, that's 20 degrees. How do you find out the x and y components of your vectors? Well, first you have to choose your coordinate system. Now, since we do not expect the block to go leaping into the air or smashing through the wedge, we're pretty sure the acceleration this way is going to be zero. So we might as well make that one of our axes. So we can tilt our axes and have, say, this be positive x and this be positive y. All right, having done that, how do we figure out what's the sine and the cosine and so forth? All right, first thing to realize is that when you've drawn those axes, that's completely your choice, but now you have to stick with it. And the x-axis, that direction, you can draw lines pointing that way, parallel to that, wherever you want, especially on the tips of all the arrows. Okay, so you can draw lines parallel to the x-axis. Remember, this plus x plus y represents an entire grid like tons and tons of lines, but I don't want to crowd up the picture. Now let's do the y lines. Let's say that we could have a line here, or here, or here, or here at the origin. All right, now what's the point of having all those? Well, now that you can see the grid, you can see where your components are. Remember, whenever you're breaking up a vector that's tilted, that is the hypotenuse. You need a triangle where that's the hypotenuse. The 90 degrees should not be touching it. In fact, the 90 degrees should be made up of these red lines and green lines. So, here's the MG. If you take the lines at the base, red and green, at the base of the arrow, and the red and green at the tip of the arrow, so let me just redraw that here. You can see that this, 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 and this make a box, and it makes two triangles. And for either one of those, mg is the hypotenuse, which is what you want. You, this is a 90, this is a 90, because our coordinates are set up that way. So given that, we, now we need to identify angles. Okay, how do we get the angle right? It's like, is, what is this? What is that? What is that? Here's a trick. This is 35 degrees. Right? So if I draw lines like that, and I draw, let's see, I should use yet another color, blue, uh, horizontal and vertical lines like this. Horizontal, vertical. Okay, just making stars. Now we can use our geometry facts. If this is 35 degrees, then so is that. And if you have this star where you have two lines at right angles and a different two lines at right angles, a neat property shows up here. This is 35 degrees, and these two add up to 90, so this has to be 55 degrees. But these two add up to 90, which means this is 35 degrees. And these two add up to 90, so this is 55 degrees. This is 35 degrees. This is 55 degrees. This is 35 degrees. This is 55 degrees. All the way around. Now you have just about any angle you want. You don't have to write all that out. You can just say, okay, 35 knot, 35 knot, 35 knot, 35, to figure out which angle you actually want. So back to here, we've got this mg. This is 35. The angle between the vertical and that axis right here is 35. This angle is 35. And then the mg is the hypotenuse, remember. So this is mg sine 35. And this side here is mg cosine 35. I could have used this side and this side exactly the same result. So what this gives us is positive x is uphill. The mg sine 35 
with a negative is the weight component in the x direction. And mg cosine 35, again with a minus, is the weight component in the y direction. That is how you break up a vector. You can draw lines parallel to the axes at the tip, lines parallel to the axes at the tail. You draw them wherever you want. It doesn't matter where the vector is located, right? Just do the tip and the tail, and you'll always get a box, and the vector will be the diagonal, so it'll be the hypotenuse automatically. Then you do your star as needed to find which angle is which, and then you can break things up.